What's up guys, Beastly Gamer here, and I just watched Bethesda's E3 2015 conference, and let me just say I was really, really amazed. They made history today, this is their very first one. I was anxiously awaiting any and all gaming news from Bethesda. I love their developer, and boy was I pleasantly surprised. So here's my review of Bethesda Softworks 2015 E3 conference. Bethesda hit the ground running, as you would expect from the first conference of E3 with big hard hitters, Debuting amazing games in just a few hours, Bethesda had to hit hard, and they did with their first reveal, Doom. Now, wait a minute, right? This is CG. That's what I was thinking when I was first looking at this amazing footage. Uh, and it's a gorgeous game, but believe it or not, this is actual in-game engine. Uh, I'm a longtime fan of Doom, like so many of you guys, and I don't think I could have dreamed of a better debut. I really don't think I could have dreamt of one. This game is Doom. That's really what this encompasses. It's Doom. It's fast. It's frantic. It's extremely violent. And longtime fans of the series will immediately recognize weapons and enemies from the franchise's long history. Uh, things like the plasma gun, the chain gun, rocket launcher, chainsaw, and even the godly BFG 9000 all make a fantastic, well-received comeback. This game is extremely fast. That's one thing I'll say. It's so fast. That's why I thought I was watching CG. The character was moving so smoothly through the map that I just thought there was no way that this game could actually be real, but it's actual in-game footage. And so this game is really quick. For the people who are disappointed with Doom 3's really slow, disjointed pacing, that's not going to be an issue here. So you guys can rejoice uh, with this super hyper fast Twitch gameplay. Doom is running at 1080p, 60 frames per second. And with all this awesomeness, what else could they do to add icing to this already sweet deal? They added multiplayer. That's right, multiplayer for Doom is looking to be amazing. Doom's multiplayer, the graphics look stunning. Uh, with fast, objective-based modes and power-ups, Doom is looking to take the competitive world by storm. Do you like to create your own content? Well, feast your eyes on this new app. It's called Snap Map, and it's part of the game. It's embedded in the actual game. And the Snap Map, it allows you to create and create maps and create modes. It's a customization tool that allows players to create maps and fully customize them along with custom game types and share them with the touch of a button. So if you want to play 6v6 chainsaws only, you can do that. If you want to play a horde mode with 10 waves of alternating enemy types, you can do that. With Snap Map, this and so much more is possible. I think Doom is going to be a stunning game, and I cannot wait until spring 2016. So next up, we saw a game called Battle Cry. A lot of people know about this game, and if you're on the MOBA scene, you really know what Battle Cry is. But it's a 6v6 MOBA that is hoping to wow gamers with its deep and robust fighting in you. Honestly, I'm not the biggest MOBA fan. Battle Cry isn't a huge draw for me, but nonetheless, it does look like it can be an interesting game if you're into MOBA, so definitely check this out. Uh, it's not my type of game personally. I've never really gotten into MOBAs, but it looks like it could be a pretty interesting game. Thirdly, third game that was teased was Dishonored 2. Now, this, there's been rumors going around about Dishonored 2 for a while, and, and while this trailer wasn't actual gameplay, the CD trailer did pique my interest. The trailer shows a new female protagonist that is dead set on taking revenge on those who have tarnished her name. That's at least what I got from the trailer. While I can't vouch for the actual gameplay, the trailer did look interesting. I would have much preferred actual gameplay though. Arcane Studios, uh, I guess you can't win them all because we didn't see any actual gameplay. Arcane also announced a surprise, well, kind of a surprise. A lot of people probably could have saw this coming, but Dishonored, the definitive edition, will be released in a few weeks with upgraded graphics and all the previous DLC. Now, if they can work on a reasonable price point for this current gen edition of it, I'll be on board. Coming up next, Bethesda showed a game that I actually bought today The Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, while this game has been available for PC gamers for a long time, it just came to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on June 9th. And uh, basically what they did here was they showed their continued support for this game by teasing upcoming DLC, Imperial City. And I think this is great news for the Elder Scrolls fan and for MMO fans alike. Next up is Elder Scrolls Legends. It's a strategy card game in line with other games like Hearthstone. So if you guys have ever played these strategy 
card games. I know Hearthstone is really, really popular. It seems like Bethesda is looking to jump into that arena and throw some cash around, see if they can't get a return. Now, Elder Scrolls Legends will be coming to PC and iPad later this year. Now, the next 30 minutes were dedicated to the game that most of us are pumped for, Fallout 4, okay? Uh, game director Todd Howard, he hits the stage and he gets right to it, okay? Todd explains that we will finally get to experience the world of Fallout before the nukes ever went off. So the beauty of this demo or this footage is they showed the world before the nuclear fallout happened. It was a beautiful uh, utopian type of future with robots and AI and just really beautiful colors. That's one thing I noticed about this trailer. The colors are so vivid compared to the previous Fallout games. And uh, that to me is a really, really nice change. The in-game footage, this is all in-game, shows the main character, which can be a male or a female, and they're also fully voiced. Okay, they're fully voiced. They show this amazing character creation that you can go nuts with, that you can just pull and tweak and make your character look however you want. And it looked like there's a, li a limitless way that you can make your character look. And I think that's really, really awesome. A lot of character creations are hard to do. There's so many knobs and levers and levels to go through. This looks like you can just grab somebody's nose, pull your controller to the right or left, make it bigger, smaller, change complexion. All that stuff really looks nice. The game even creates a baby based on the looks you give your main character and the spouse. So it has this new awesome dynamic where it's able to uh, incorporate your decision making into the actual end game. Now, one thing they showed during Fallout's really, really beautiful uh, debut was dynamic AI, okay? And it's also next gen. Now, non-player characters in AI will verbally refer to you by name, which uh, gives conversations a more personal feel. I mean, if you're playing a game and you actually hear an NPC say your name, that's really going to pull you into the experience. And it appears that they have a lot, I think he said over a thousand names in the game. So if you have a regular name, if your name isn't like Flight Pilot 21, if you have a name like Brian or Joe, your name will definitely come up. Uh, the, another thing that they showed was your dog. You do have a dog in this game. Now, they did show this last week when they actually revealed Fallout 4 that there's a dog in the game. Uh, and most of us expected this, but after the trailer of last week, now we can actually see what the dog can do. You can ha have him move to certain locations on the map. You can have him hold his position. You can have him inspect areas or even grab items for you. So this dog is actually going to be a really pivotal part of the game. It's going to help you do a lot as you progress through this game. Now there's been a lot of people talking trash about Fallout 4's visuals. And for those people, you guys need to raise your hands and then place them over your mouse. Fallout 4 looks fantastic, man. The, the different locations that they showed looked phenomenal. It just looked really, really good. Every location that they showed really looked polished and well made. Uh, it just looked to me graphically stunning compared to the original Fallout, Fallout 3, or anything I'm playing right now. It looked really phenomenal. You're also able to play the game in third person or first person mode, and I think that's really awesome as well. They did announce a special edition or a Pit Boy edition. This thing looks awesome, and you can actually put your smartphone inside of it and download the Pit Boy app that turns your phone into a Pit Boy. It doesn't get much more awesome than that. And actually, the special edition is only 120 bucks. So if you want this, I would definitely say pick it up. Now, after all this great news, they still weren't done. Todd Howard then announced Fallout Shelter, an iOS game that is available today. So at least they did it. But that's the did the it's available now thing. It will be available after the live show. He said, uh, "In this game, it lets you manage your own vault." I actually played this, you know, on the iPad probably 20 minutes ago, and it's actually pretty fun. So you should definitely give it a try. It's a free game. It doesn't cost you anything. There is some microtransactions for things like lunch boxes, but it's a free game. It does not require an internet connection after you download it. I would definitely say give it a try. They continued on. The show ended with the reveal of the customizations of the Fallout world. Now in Fallout 4, you will be able to build your own custom locations throughout the world. Locations that will be unique to your gaming experience. You will attract survivors to your custom territories as well as bandits. So you gotta protect your own private space really well. You can do things like put generators around and gun turrets and hire people to watch your particular territory. And I think that's really, really awesome. Uh, I gotta honestly say this guys, 
Fallout 4 is my most anticipated game of 2015, bar none right now. November 10th, I will be the first one in line. Well guys, this was Bethesda's first E3 conference and I gotta say I was really impressed. Mostly with Doom and Fallout 4, some of the other games were okay, but the fact that uh, Dishonored 2 showed a CG trailer was kind of underwhelming to me. Uh, they showed uh, the uh, Elder Scrolls card game, I'm not really into that, but Fallout 4 really, really got my blood rushing. Doom looks really, really amazing, and I'm super excited for those. Uh, with the great games that they're rolling out in 2015 and 2016, it's looking to be awesome for us gamers, man. I mean, it's going to be a hell of a good time. And i got to give Bethesda's E3 conference a B+. Be sure to hit the like button and become a Beastly Gamer yourself by subscribing. Stay tuned for more E3 coverage right here at the Beastly Gamer channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.